Um, you have a great team. Finally, you got a victory under your belt the other night. Uh, I do understand that it is the first uh, season. So, and you know, all of you are not people that you've played a lot of cricket with. So, it takes time to gel and get used to it. But finally, you guys are playing together as a unit, looking good. You have a victory under your belt. And I'm sure you'd be looking to continue that and, you know, try your best to qualify. If not, at least upset a few teams. Uh, certainly, we have uh, quite a bit potential. They are not performing as well. That's our problem. But uh, as a unit, we are a strong team, and we just try to give the potential right here. And uh, let's see how they perform now. And uh, yeah, uh, having said that, we have uh, uh, really good players, so I'm expecting their performance today. Absolutely, and so all of us be looking forward to a cracker of a match. And it's toss time, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone knows the drill. United Ventures on one, UCB on one. I'll toss, PG will call. UCB is the call by PG and UCB it is. So, uh, any reason for that or just don't want to fix what's not broken? I, yeah, we don't want to change the course. We've uh, followed this particular path. We'll follow the same path. Moreover, a few of our players are not reached here yet. So, uh, double for us. And, uh, you know, getting back to your team, you have the orange cap holder in Ankit, the blue cap holder in Wani. I mean, Wani has been exceptional. He's played only six matches so far, already got about 10 or 11 wickets. So, I mean, exceptional. You've got the top bowler of the tournament, top batsman of the tournament in your team. So, yes, you've not managed to convert that into a lot of victories, but it's still never too late. Hoping that you guys can come good and we can... See a great match, just like we did last night. All the best for the toss and for the match. Uh, Sahil, you're going to be fielding first and then chasing. Uh, we do know you've got some great batsmen. You've got Lavish, you've got yourself, you've got Reza, who's been an exception in the field. You've got uh, Aban, Deep, and you've got, of course, the man that we've all waiting to watch, Zamir. So, any special plans or are you just going to go out there and enjoy yourself? Certainly, we have plans. We have got good potential bowlers here. And at the same time, uh, we try to uh, uh, bowl them out uh, as soon as possible in a limited uh, runs. So, let's see. I mean, uh, fun and uh, uh, gameplay is both the plans are on. So, let's see how it goes now. All right. Looking forward to a cracker of a match. All the best for the match. So, we've just had the toss, ladies and gentlemen. The toss was won by Team Pan Warriors. They have elected to bat first. Live action coming up for match one for this evening. Again, you can watch us live on YouTube on United Cricket Bash, our own channel. And for the first time, an underarm night cricket tournament is being aired on Seven Star Digital, our media partners on channel number 99 and 100. So stay tuned and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Live action coming up in just a few minutes.
So we have the opening batsman out in the middle already for Team Pan Warriors. Barag at the non-striker's end and Ashish at the striker's end for Team Pan Warriors. We saw them take down the undefeated Mumbai Monarchs last night. So they are definitely super high on confidence. We'll have to wait and watch what they can pull out of the bag tonight. They won the toss, they elected to bat first. And they are taking on 11 Indians in match one for this evening. We've got four matches for you this evening. This is match one. Match two is Shreem Spartans versus the star-studded Viking Warriors. Match three, 11 Indians again will take on Shristi Lions. And match four, Shristi Lions will take on all monsters. And Babban Deep will, ta will take charge to bowl over number one. The power play over, mandatory power play over, where only two fielders are allowed on the boundary. So Deep will bowl over number one, Ashish on strike. With him, Parag. And look who makes a grand entry. Grand entry. A star's entry. Always late. Mr. Zameer Ahmad. So it's match time. Match number one. 11 Indians taking on Pan Warriors. Play ball. First ball, dot ball. It'll, I'm sure they're not going to take on Reza's fielding. We've seen him do some magic while he's on the field. Starts off with a dot. This time single, off the mark.
So five ball, six for the loss of no wicket. Play to point and run out. So that is wicket number one. So striking early. Team 11 Indians after one over, six for the loss of one wicket. So Karan, what do you think? How important is this game for Pan Warriors? Every game from now on uh, fame is super important, super important. Because every result is going to affect where the teams finally end up on the table. And we know that all teams want to be in the top four. I mean, being one and two is just brilliant because you get that chance to get into the finals directly. But you want to be in the top four. Starts off with the no ball, Reza. No ball, no ball. So it's a free hit now. I don't know why the batsman let that go though. It was a no ball. He should have tried to take, do something, get the bat to the ball, do something. I totally agree with you. And the kind of position they are in right now, they should make the most of everything. They need some run rate, they need to win all the matches. So yeah. Again, again, he just let it go. It's a wide, so the free hit will continue. The free hit will continue, and guess who's on strike? Ankit. And we'll get only a single. So they've missed out on the free hit they had. So after 1.1, 1 .1 it's 10 for 1. Riza balling to Parag. Uh, that's a good looking ball. And very well played for a single. Oh, that's a good looking drive and they complete two runs. So yeah. That's a very good running, very good running. What do you think, Karan? What should be the strategy for 11 Indians? I mean, they have nothing to lose. They have to go out there, play aggressive cricket and play to their full potential. But they've been bowling a lot of extra balls. White balls, no balls. I haven't seen them doing that throughout the league. Yeah, I guess they're under a little pressure now and they have nothing to lose. So they have to go out, play their natural game, play aggressive and do their best. And worries have a very deep batting lineup. There are a lot of batsmen who left. You know, Prashant is still left. Of course, the sixth hitting machine, PG. They have Kavish with them. Full toss and out, Ankit. Loose ball, but picks up a wicket. That was there to hit. But unfortunately, hitting it straight into the hands of the fielder. The kind of batsman Ankit hit. All of ten, nine balls would have gone out of the boundary. What do you think that? Absolutely, that was a loose shot. But Ankit departs, in comes Kavish. The man in form. Absolutely. After 1.5 overs, 14 for 2. Well bowled, well bowled. Dot ball to finish. So 2 overs, 14 for the loss of 2 wickets. Team Pan Warriors. So, Lovish to bowl to Kavish after two overs, 14 for two.
Big discussion between the captain and Zamir. Lovish bowling to Kavish. In the air, put down and put down by Babban. Deep. That's not something you see very often. And you cannot put down a batsman like Kavish. You cannot put down a batsman like him. He will make you pay for it. That's going to prove costly. We'll have to wait and watch. I totally agree with you. You cannot drop a batsman like Kavish. That was a pretty easy catch. Very easy catch for any fielder. And a fielder and player of Babban's quality. That was a sitter. That would have been a big blow to Team Pan Warriors. Big wicket, Kavish. Full toss again. This time it hard. Only a single. I really believe Nitin is a very underrated player. He's a very good fielder, very good batsman, very good bowler. But he's not been given a lot of chances. I don't know why. You know, it's a little difficult when you have such a short format for everybody. Full toss again, Reza. Reza won't miss a single ball. That is for sure. That. Absolutely. He's been electrifying in the field. But the Pan Warriors are not being able to convert the full toss balls into runs. They're playing a lot of dot balls. That is a good shot. That is all. Oh, oh, six. Bounces off. The hand of the fielder and goes for six. I still believe that could have been stopped. In Absolutely. Class, you should have stopped that. Absolutely. See, this is what, I'm, what I've been saying since a couple of days in commentary. Far, that, you know, the spectacular will come, will happen. But before that, you need to do the basics. That's and it. He's gone. Good comeback by the bowler. Good comeback after being hit for six. Bold. So at the end of three overs, 23 for three, Team Pan Warriors. But the danger man is still there. Kavush is still there on the crease. And don't forget, PG is still yet to bat. They've got PG, they've got Rohit yesterday who hit a couple of big sixes. So everybody very capable in Team Pan Warriors. And don't forget Bhavan. He's a very good batsman. I've seen him play a lot of times. He's a very good batsman. So Zamir will bowl over number four. We know he's a very smart bowler, Zamir, when he bowls. Doesn't give anything away. And he's played a lot of cricket with Kavish, so he knows what he's supposed to do. And you can see him attacking. He's only got two fielders on the boundary. He's left the boundary open, tempting Kavish. A good contest to happen. Zamir versus Kavish. Oh, oh he oh, bowled oh, it yeah. exactly to the field he set. Just, just wide of the fielder. So bowling to his field is Zamir. Single. So Bhavan on strike for the first time. And Zamir. For me to Kavish. It's a dead ball, dot ball. So after 3.4, it's 26 for 3. Good cricket, good cricket all round. Down the track, straight to the fielder. Good run, good throw, but the batsman was in. So, another single. You know, Karan, I've played a lot of cricket with Zamir and it's not easy to hit him. He turns the ball a long way. Yeah, it looks really loopy and slow, but if you don't get to the pitch of it, you're in trouble. Another full toss. But just a single. So, at the end of four overs, 28 for the loss of three wickets, team Pan Warriors. And coming up is the fifth over, the double trouble over. 
where every run scored is doubled and in case of a wicket minus five the double trouble over sponsored by Natraj Hospitality Bar and Grill. So Nitin is going to build the fifth over and you know what he did against I Love Mumbai. He picked up three wickets in this over. Good feeling, good feeling. This is the fifth over. So that's good feeling. Bhavin on strike. Nithin bowling. Natraj, trouble, trouble. The first ball was a dot ball. In the gap, running the first one quick. Good run, good run, good run. Not happy, Zamir. Not happy. Not happy. Sloppy fielding by Lavish. He should have thrown at the bowler's end. Uh, there was a loud call from the keeper. Screaming bowler. But the throw still came to the keeper's end. Full toss. Again, Zamir calls bowler. Direct hit and it would have been curtains for Kavish. Direct hit and Kavish was gone. And that too in the fifth over. Minus five. They just missed a minus five. And that to the big wicket of Kavish. Kavish is living dangerously. What do you think of that? Absolutely. He's got one life already. So this is the fifth over. The double trouble over. Sponsored by Natraj Hospitality Bar and Grill. Where every run scored is doubled. And in case of a wicket, minus five. And if you strike the Bikandhari Realty Super 8 board in this over, you get 16. And if a minus, a one-handed clean, one-handed catch is taken by a fielder, which results in minus three to the batting total, you will get minus eight because minus five and minus three. I'm thinking that Nathan is looking under pressure, but out of three balls that he's bowled, the two balls have been full tosses. Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of field changes, a lot of changes, every ball. I think they just need to calm down, Team 11 Indians. But that's a good field change. He's playing all the balls on the leg side, and that's what they've done right now. Oh, no! A chance goes begging. Fifth over, another chance, another opportunity in the fifth over. Down the track, Kavish running the first one quick, but that's all they'll get. So 4.5, 40 for 3. What do you think? After good, 8 overs, where is Panwar is reaching? Good start, good start. They've got the big hitters, so it's a good start. They've created the platform for themselves. So with that, we come to the end of the double trouble over. 42 for the loss of three wickets. It's a very good start for Team Pan Warriors. Three overs left and they've got Kavish who's out there and they've got the six hitting machine PG to come. Rohit to come. So they've got the hard hitting batsmen still left. So very good start. And once again, we'd like to welcome Mr. Akbar Khan. Welcome in the com box, Akibai. Thank you, Karan. Thank you, Fahim. And thank you for this lovely T-shirt that you all have uh, given me. It's an absolute pleasure wearing one. You're looking really nice in that. Thank you for a change. <laughs> I wish yeah. I could be as fit as the two of you all and uh, Mr. Wahab Barudkar. You know, you make, look, you make everything look good, Akibai. So. See, that's what happens when you are Karan's brother. You've got some sweet words coming out of your mouth every time. Truth, truth. Only the truth. I love you for that. 
Oh, what a ball! Oh, what legs. a ball! Round his legs! Why was he not bowling the fifth over? Anyway, nevertheless, a wicket is a wicket. So, good start to over number six. And in comes Rishi. We all know what he's capable of doing. He, we've seen him hit some big sixes. So, a good start, guys, for Team Pan Warriors. 5.1 overs, 42 for four. They've got some big hitters still in the shed. And Rishi also a big hitter. So, a good start. I reckon they should get anywhere around 65 at least from here. So, what do you think, Karan? Yeah. 60 will be a good score because 11 Indians have a very good batting side. See, the thing with 11 Indians is uh, I think they just need to go out there, express themselves and play aggressive, natural cricket that comes to them. They have a good side, but they've not been able to perform to their full potential. And also, like I said, I'm no expert, but their tactics while batting sometimes have confused me because... You know, when you've got, oh, what feeling. When you've got a batsman like Zamir's caliber in your team, and like we were discussing yesterday, Akiba and me in commentary, that you need to make sure your best uh, batsman spends as much as time out in the middle. Zamir has always come out with three balls to go, four balls to go, one over to go, or he's come out in the sixth over, fifth over, with seven wickets down. Oh, my oh word! My what oh is going on, Reza? Absolutely electric in the field. Electric. Well, this is the kind of stuff that, uh, you know, just pulls your team uh, to the next level. Uh, talking about the kind of caliber they have, uh, 11 Indians, Zamir, you can never forget, Sadat and Deep Bindra. I mean, these are the three names that come to my mind immediately. They are, they are class apart. Yeah, they've just not been able to perform to their potential, unfortunately. Maybe tonight's the night. But what an effort by Reza. Yeah, he's become one of the best fielders in this tournament. Some brilliant feeling, brilliant feeling. Full toss, hit hard. Attacking the ball, quick release, single. And also, they have Lavish in their, in their side. Uh, he's, he's somebody you'll see who hits the ball as hard as you'll ever see. Really smacks the ball. So, they've got the potential and they've got the talent and there's no doubting that. But, unfortunately, they've not been able to, you know, perform to the best of their abilities and the potential that they hold. So, six overs, 47 for the loss of four wickets. Team Pan Warriors batting first. We've got match number two where Shreem Spartans will take on Viking Warriors. The star-studded Viking Warriors finally getting on to winning ways. I still think and I will still continue to say that I think they've got the best team on paper. Unbelievable team on paper. They are honestly the all-studded galaxy of stars in that team. Look at that effort. Great work by Deep. You know, I have seen Kavish since he's, he was a little kid. Uh, his father is a dear friend of mine. And he's a super talented player. Uh, consistent performer. Rishi has been doing that. So, Pan Warrior is also doing really well, uh, you know, after the last couple of games. Absolutely. They beat the undefeated Mumbai Monarchs last night. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Brilliant. What a pickup. Brilliant shot. Well, that look, that look, He made that look so easy, Karan. What a shot. What a shot. Absolutely lazy elegance. Again, hit hard. What a good shot. In the arc. And just going through. The follow through was so good as well. Short ball. Oh, Kavish should have done better. The ball was there to hit. It was definitely there to hit. We're still not seeing the six hitting machine as yet. Well, they've got someone else walking out and he's no stranger to hitting sixes as well. We saw him hit some big sixes last night. He hit two of them. So, they've got a lot of players that can hit sixes, this team. A wild ball, loud nick, loud nick, that's out. It's a good comeback in the over after being hit for a six. 
That's right. a great comeback and a great catch by Zam. Absolutely. I mean, Zam can take those in his sleep. So, makes it look really easy. So, seven overs, 55 for the loss of six wickets. Team Pan Warriors over number eight, final over. And out in the middle is the six-hitting machine, PG, at the non-striker's end. And on strike is Rohit. Is it the power play? We'll have to wait and watch. It is the power play, so only two fielders allowed on the boundary. You see a very animated captain, Sahil, wearing number 11 jersey. So Mahendra will bowl over number eight, final over of the innings for Team Pan Warriors. Rohit on strike with Rohit PG. Let's see what they can get, at least 10 if not more. Starts off with a wide, under pressure. Well, you would be under pressure if someone like Rohit standing in front of you. <laughs> I mean, look at him. He's Oh, good shot. Oh, did he intentionally try that with one hand? Or well, what was it? I missed it. It was Sadat. I mean, if he had put two hands, you think he would have been able to catch it? Well, it was... Uh I think that was the right idea, you know, at this point of time to try and take one-handed catch and try and reduce but that. Wouldn't you rather get a wicket, Aki, by a certain oh. wicket and Look. a dot ball and see the back of a batsman like Rohit? Uh, good you catch. Have it. Good uh, catch, Zamir. I think Zam, Zam, I think you need to give some catching practice to your players. They've put down quite a few today. They've put down three catches. Vani. So you've got Wani on strike. The, the man with the blue taker. cap. Yeah. Let's see what he can do with the bat. What a good he shot. He can do a lot what with the bat shot. as well. He can do a lot with the bat as well. First ball he faces. Big six. Well, current that confidence of being the highest wicket taker. You know, you're already reeling under that confidence of, uh, you know, being there at the top. What a big six. Good pick up. And so close to that super eight as well. So, seven runs of just two balls for Vani. Brilliant, brilliant. Does he want to hold both caps? I wonder how he's going to wear them though. <laughs> Full toss, full toss, four. Look at the size of this man. I think he should be, no, he should not be allowed to use both hands to bat. <laughs> I'm sure he can do wonders with just one hand. He's too big to, to be given the bat with two hands. He's too strong and too big. Look at him. He's like, what, 12 feet tall? Unbelievable. Full toss to him. You're asking for trouble. We saw him hit two big sixes last night as well, and that too against the bowling attack of Mumbai Monarchs. So, I mean, that's not easy. It just doesn't happen. They are definitely the best side that uh, we've seen in this tournament. Again, look at that. Just stands tall on the back foot. Six. Incredible hitting. He back made to that back look sixes. so easy. So easy. Just stood tall, was waiting on the back foot. The ball was marginally short and slapped that ball on the back foot for six. What batting. Brilliant batting. With that, they get to 74. And 75 the target. It's going to be a difficult task. Yeah, well, look, uh, you know, uh, we mentioned, we took a couple of names uh, from Team 11 Indians. Starting with Zamir, Sadat, Lavish. And obviously, one of my most favorites, uh, Deep Bindra, you know, including uh, Zamir, who I find uh, to be an excellent batsman, Sada, the right handed Matthew Hayden. So, you know, the, you've got the names in uh, 11 Indians as well, Karan. I completely agree. If there's any team that should be able to do it, it is 11 Indians because they've definitely got the names. They just need to come good. 
you know this is i mean if you notice the way pan warriors played the last over especially and uh, the other batsmen like rishi there was so much confidence after that victory where you know when you take down a team like mumbai monarchs who've been undefeated throughout the tournament you are the underdogs in that match you go out and beat them i mean the confidence that you can get out of it just shows look at them they've gone out there enjoyed themselves done what comes to them naturally and look at the result it's there 74 incredible total uh fahim uh, you guys have played uh, you know a couple of tournaments and you'll have been consistent performance perfor performers you know good performances uh, in both the leagues that you all played in uh how do you you know keep the momentum going uh to consistently keep performing the way you all did because you've been there uh, for team falcons one of the key players zam being there sadat being there used to keep with an injury how do you manage to you know continue playing the way you do so how do you manage to you know com com you know continue the momentum of uh, winning and your perf performances don't drop uh, how do you manage to do that well lucky boy it's always a team performance for me see whenever you're batting i just know one thing i need to be there till the end that's what my captain tells me all the time whenever i go to bat rs says fine you hold on the one end and from the other end we'll do the hitting job and that's what i've been doing from long time and having the likes of karan or playing in ucb we don't have any stress uh, hitesh uh you know uh sam him, sam rifa is uh, you know as a captain i think he's incredible uh mr kam uh he's someone uh who who you can call the uh the dhoni dhoni of uh, underarm cricket <laughs> that's a you nice know, he's name for him he's incredible he's incredible the calm that he keeps on the ground uh but you know that's wonderful to see people like yourselves on the field uh unfortunately out here you know when you have the names of sadat and zameer which we keep saying because we've seen him seen them perform what do you think is the reason why they've just not been able to you know do well over here karan of you know i'm i'm going to interrupt there akib bhai i think the the reason for that is of course like we've been discussing the turf the playing conditions the players yes all of that but again uh, i've been saying it non stop when i've been doing commentary with fame and with you or with the days that you would you know family commitments i am no expert but like you very rightly said last evening as well you obviously have identified the best players of your own team because you are the one who got them in the auction so if you're not going to have the best teams oh, what was that no ball why did riza let it go why didn't try hitting a shot i think it was too high for riza as well you being mean right now i'm just being honest free hit miss it i should say free hit was been missed If you need to chase seventy-five, you need to make the most of these free hits. Absolutely. So, you know, you obviously know who are your best performers. So, if and like I was saying, you very rightly said it last night while we were in commentary that if you're not going to have your best players face the maximum number of deliveries while batting, you can't expect to get big scores. Yes, your other players, I'm not saying are not good, but they will perform with the bat you know it will be a one off evening or day when they'll perform but your star players are stars for a reason because they are consistent and they will perform consistently for you so you have to make sure they spend maximum time out in the middle and like i said zameer oh, oh that is not good cricket that is not good cricket first secure the stop my friend and then try and catch it especially the uh, pan warriors have done so well even last evening uh coming back to bat today they've done exceptionally well so this this kind of an effort will just you know uh, put down the morale of the team uh, absolutely 1 over 9 so that's a good start for team 11 indians see so reza with his brilliance with the fielding i mean while he was fielding uh we hope that he can try and uh, do the same with his batting that's my lucky number that he's wearing absolutely so again i keep by like i was saying so you have to have people you know zameer whenever he's batted in this tournament he's either batted in the last over with maybe couple of balls left or if he's got more than two overs he's in a situation chasing 70 or 65 like this 
and uh, with six or seven wickets down. So you can't expect him to go out and play his natural game. I mean, however big a player you are, the pressure is going to get to you because you're a big name, expectations, full toss again. DG bowling over number two, first ball, full toss. Good shot, good shot, good shot. We'll have to wait and watch. We'll have to wait and watch. That could be close. Well, he's asked for a referral, Karan. Unfortunate, unfortunate. That hit the bowler's foot and then ricocheted onto the stumps. Unfortunate way to get out if it is out. We'll have to wait and watch. So, not out given by the Empire.
Oh, what an effort, what an effort. So that was a close call for Reza, got away with it. The run out chance and this, so let's see if it's, it is his night. Well Soft played. hand straight to PG. He took an eternity getting down to that one. PG, PG, better than that. Oh, well bowled. So you've got a PG and a DG. The G's in the house. Well bowled again. Oh, this time he was quick. That throw was lightning quick for the keeper to collect from so close. So at the end of two overs, 14 for the loss of no wicket. Team 11 Indians chasing 74 or 75. 75 is the target. Uh, number five, the fifth over will be so crucial, Karan. Every time you're chasing a huge total, your fifth over becomes so crucial. Oh, well, balls. Again, he beat him with pace. Slow pace. pace. <laughs> oh, he was trying his luck. Trying his luck. And this time, Reza connects. What a good shot that is. So, yes, it seems like it's Reza's evening. Yeah, when you can come good with, uh, with your fielding and then again with the bat. He's hit one four and one wonderful six. Yeah, that was flighted, pitched up, took full advantage. This time short, high up in the air. Catch. DG's, DG's not going to drop that. Uh, and he was being safe. He was like, forget the minus three, I'd rather get a wicket. And for the first time, finally, at number three is Zamir. Always a good sight. Zamir, always... I've spoken a lot about you. Better perform today. At number three, Zamir. I think this is a proper batting lineup. There's Zamir. After this, you have uh, deep. Uh, deep to follow. And Sadat. Sadat, Lavish. I mean, you can't ask for a better batting lineup than that. 75 suddenly seems small. Yeah, they, they see the openers have done a good job, you know. They're close to 10 runs in over. Absolutely, they've given them a very good start. Reza's done a fantastic job. Sajid is doing his bit there and walks in Zamir. Oh, well bowled. Let's not forget, in the bowling department for Team uh, Pan Warriors, you have Vani, that over is going to be so crucial. We saw that yesterday as well. Well, he picked up three wickets last night. So, yes, he's just getting better and better with every match. Well, he doesn't want to give away that cap for sure. It's going to be a, it's going to be a great effort by another bowler to take that away from him. Well, I think he's got 11 wickets, if I'm right. 11 or 12. I mean, I've lost count. And he's Wonderful. played only, what, six matches out of the seven or eight that his team has played. So his strike rate is absolutely brilliant with the ball. It's nice to have, uh, you know, new emerging stars. So Wani is definitely one of them. They also have Ankit from Team Pan Warriors. Uh, you've got uh, a couple from uh, Mumbai Monarch. So every team has got, uh, you know, a few superstars. Absolutely, and the team that is full of superstars, Viking, Viking Warriors, Warriors. <laughs> and they are playing next, where they take on Shreem Spartans. Oh, close, 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 close. 
Empire takes another review and this time it's the decision for the big wicket of Zamir. We'll have to wait and watch. Have to wait and watch.
So, a long review, but I'd like to again remind everybody that if a review is taken by the Empire or by a team, if there is not enough evidence to overturn the decision, the decision taken by the on-field Empire stays. And in case of any doubt, the benefit of the doubt goes to the batsman. So the Empire has made his call on the evidence that was available. And again, the Empire was in shore, so he took the review himself. He didn't wait for the team to take a review, because if they had to take a review, it would have been unsuccessful and they would have lost their review. So our batsmen being extreme, empires being extremely fair. So thank you to our officials. With that, extra bounce, wicket. Pan ball is a super bowling side. They really have a very good bowling side. We haven't seen Vani as yet, imagine. I have played a lot of cricket with Vani, and I'm telling you, he's one man who can turn the ball like, like how? Trust me, he can turn the no, ball we both saw ways. It. We saw it last night, and now walks in deep, nickname Baban. This has to be the best pair for Team 11 Indians, uh, Far, What do you think? I totally agree with you, but I want to see how they play with the, against Vani. So we'll have to wait and watch. You know, Karan, PG is also a very good bowler, but we haven't seen him bowling. They haven't needed him, needed him to bowl. They're just using him with the bat, the six-hitting machine. That's a good ball and good-looking shot for a single. So after 3.4 overs, 24 for two. That's a uh, that's a super six by Zami. Super six. So, Kelly, did you see Zami hitting the six? He hit a six. I oh, just hit a six. Shit, I missed it. After four overs, 31 for two. A quick sip of water and I missed him hitting a six. So four overs, 31 for two. Coming up, the fifth over, the double trouble over. Natraj, hospitality, bar and grill, double trouble over. Every run scored is doubled in case of a wicket, minus five. So we have four matches this evening for him. This is match number one. Match two is where the star-studded Viking Warriors will take on Shreem Spartans. Match 3, 11 Indians again will take on Shrishti Lions. And match 4, Shrishti Lions will take on All Monsters. I really want to see Vani bowling the fifth over once. I want to see how the batsman is going to approach him. I think it's going to be a maiden. I totally agree with you on that. So yes, you can see the Viking Warriors fan army already in place. All set to support their team that is playing after this. They do have the best fan army for sure. The ground is going to get noisier now. Absolutely, it's going to be fun. So after four overs, 31 for two. And Natraj, double trouble over. Zamir on strike. Oh, that's a very good ball. Dot ball, dot ball. So not happy, Zamir. Sweep. Good run, good respond by deep from the non strikers end. Responded early to Zamir's call. Are really the best pair that you would want to see? Absolutely, but absolutely, Aki Bhai. 
Oh, fifth over, living dangerously deep. We've, Samir has already hit one big six. So he's coming good. This is what I mean. You have to give your best players maximum balls to face. So end of over number five. 41 for the loss of two wickets. Chasing 75. You've got uh, the right two batsmen at the crease. With Sada to follow and Lavish. Absolutely, but let's not forget... Wani. Wani. That is going to be the difference. That is going to be the difference between both teams, I think, in this match. That over from him is going to be the difference. Well, Kavish has played enough cricket. Uh, he's a foxy little bowler. Look at that. It's just not giving anything away. On to the legs. All you can do is try and take a single at the most or flick it down the leg side. The two of them, Kavish and Deep, have played a lot of cricket uh, amongst each other. Yeah, they play in the same team as well. Oh, what a, what good a shot! shot. Pitched up six. That's he's, a star, Karan. That's a star. He's not an easy bowler to hit. Trust me, that's a good shot. It was in his arc, and he made the most of it. Big six. So I have with me now. The captains of team Viking Warriors and captain of team Shreem Spartan Sam and captain of Viking Warriors Rizwan. Oh, with that, Zamir departs. Zamir departs. Big wicket. Goes and see the eight. Uh, you think if you make 60 or 70, you'll be able to contain the batting lineup that uh, Viking Warriors have? We'll have to try our best. So, you know, we, you know, they are a great batting unit. In fact, my brother, younger brother, uh, plays for their team, Prithvi. So, you know, I know him very well. I try and use whatever he knows of me and me, you know, he, he will use whatever he knows of me. So, we'll try that. And you know, hopefully, I said, you know, we'll aim. If we aim for 90 and end up having 30, I said, they will go on the net, run it up. So, it's better to aim for 60 and 70 and then see how the game situation pans out. So, that is, that is experience for you, ladies and gentlemen. Experience speaking. Sensible with wanting to do the basics. And not their plans well on field, but whatever said and done, they are they are still fighting, and we are still trying to finish good on table. There are a few chances still there for us to qualify. So qualifiers are still just let's just keep that uh, on a side. But uh, we would like to end up uh, on like uh, six spot for on this table if we are not qualifying this league. Riz, uh, in a captain, I think you're a wonderful captain. We've Thank played you. together. Yeah, uh, so yeah. your team has the best captain. You've <laughs> got the right players, the bowlers. And you've got young legs. You've got Prithvi, Asif, yourself, uh, Mansoor. So some great batting. Uh, I wish you all the best. And I know Thank if not so this much, season, everybody. you're going to do surely, wonderfully surely, well surely, next surely. season. You are a fantastic cricketer yourself. Need your blessings so always. Always, you my so brother. Much. Always. Have a great game today. Thank you. Good night. God bless. So that was Rizwan Khan, the captain from Viking Warriors, a team owned by... Nadeem and Vaseem from Seven Stars who've been our, uh, you know, they've helped us with this amazing tournament that they've offered us. So big thank you to them. What an over, Karan, what an over. Wani's done it again. Absolutely, absolutely. But, you know, I think uh, Deep did well to go down the track, convert the ball into a full but unfortunately wasn't able to get enough of elevation that's the only way you're going to be able to hit this man otherwise if the ball pitches look at that whoa How close was that current to the leg stump close super close if the ball pitches you're in trouble yep if the ball pitches you're in trouble what a foxy little bowler this guy unbelievable, is unbelievable unbelievable bowler so at the end of seven overs, 55 for four, 20 runs to get in six legal deliveries. What an over, Wani, what an over, absolutely deserves, absolutely deserves that blue cap. Brilliant, brilliant. Like we, we, we've been talking about, you know, teams coming good after playing a couple of games. You know, Pan Warriors is one of them. You know, initially they did not fare that well, but if you look at the last three, four games, they've done really well. Absolutely, the absolutely. The have come good. Uh, 
you know, people have taken responsibility. Rishi's batted well. Uh, you know, the big names have put their hand up, have put their hand up. So that is what you need. I mean, and it's, and you know, it's been, yes, they have the orange cap and they have the blue cap. But if you notice, all the players have contributed. It's not been just one standout performance. Good shot. Oh, put down, sitter. So that's two out of the 20 that they need to get. It is the power play over. Well, you need so a couple of five balls, 18 runs. I mean, it is definitely possible. Oh, one shot, one shot. So 19 still to get. Wide. Back to 18 that is required in five balls. This is going to be interesting. Well, that was a good leave and a good take by the keeper. That is not going to help. That is not going to help. They need a couple of big sixes, super eights. Well, this can man do that. is definitely capable. He hits them as hard as you will see. Oh, well ball, well ball. Not giving anything away, Rishi. Only singles. Is that one of them? Is that one of them? No, that's it. Too hard. So another wicket. Karan, I can assure you a lot of teams who have uh, not fared well or have not done, uh, you know, uh, they've not played to their potential. Coming good now. So season two is going to be a different ball game altogether. Absolutely. The teams would have spent about two or three months together, you know, getting to know each other better, practicing together, getting to know each other's strengths and weaknesses better. So, yes, season two is going to be unbelievable with the kind of cricket that we've seen and quality of cricket we've seen in season one. Season two is only going to get better. And, of course, season two, Akiwai, like you've been saying, you might see another team as well. I would love to see that team. Team Fairmont Falcons, definitely. So last ball, 15 runs. That's not possible even in UCB. So wicket, Team Pan Warriors, victorious. And like we said, that one over is going to be the difference between winning and losing. And again, it was his over. What an over. Well, he's just growing every day as a bowler. Uh, just picking up wickets, containing batsmen. And now we're going to have the noisy fan army of Team Viking Warriors. Don't... Uh, isn't their fan army, Akibai, gives you the experience of actually being at a stadium. They are loud. They come with all their supporters. Look, this the is... Vuvuzelas, the whistles, the horns, the trumpets. They come all fired and charged up. Look, you, you, this, the idea behind UCB is that, you know, when you have your fans, your families, your friends, you know, your children supporting your... Uh, 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 supporting your team and uh, Viking Warriors uh, actually do that you know all the team uh, team members uh, are there uh, not just the playing 11 or 12 but the entire squad is there they have their family members and their friends supporting them so ideally that is uh, that's exactly what you want in a, in in this competition in this league absolutely you know it's it's just it's so exciting and so much fun for the players that are playing and for us when we commentary it's so much fun it's it's excitement it's it's entertainment it's, we, we, we also request uh, the other teams, you need, to, you need to follow the footsteps of Team Viking Warriors. Get your family, friends, supporters to come to the ground, support for you. It just makes you want to perform better. Look, I've seen Pan Warriors do that as well. Absolutely. Mumbai Monarch does that. Mumbai Monarchs, Pan Warriors and Viking Warriors. I think they have the best fan army. But number one for that has to be Viking Warriors. Well, you know what? Uh, season 2, I think you seriously must think of... Um, giving away. We actually do have a prize already. Since now you asked me, I'm, I was not going to mention it, but I'm mentioning Wonderful. it now. There Wonderful. is a prize for the best supporting team. They will receive vouchers from Bar Stock Exchange. Incredible. That's wonderful. Uh, 
you know, I, I, I hope that most of them don't drink in that, uh, that team. So, I think the two of us can go there. Absolutely. We'll use <laughs> the can invite, If they can invite us as well, uh, you know, to join them. Absolutely. We would love to support Absolutely. any team that is uh, winning the... The, the best uh, <laughs> fan army or whatever you may call them. Absolutely. But, you know, I have, I have from the start of the tournament, you and me have had a discussion about all teams and I from the start of the tournament have said, Viking Warriors for me are the best team on paper. Absolutely. And I have supported them from the beginning and I will continue to support them whether they win or lose because some of them are really good friends that are playing in the tournament. But apart from friends, they're a great bunch of boys playing and have brilliant potential. I'm still hoping they qualify because they're coming together as a unit now. And my second favorite have to be Mumbai Monarchs. Of course, apart from friends, they have the one and only Hanif in it. Oh, yes. So I have to support him. And now for the post-match presentation, could we have both the teams, please? So now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the post-match presentation. And Aki Bai will give away the man of the match who will receive. So the, it's time for the post-match presentation. Could we have both the teams, please? And Aki Bai will give away the man of the match. He will receive a trophy. A Charisma Spa voucher and a watch from Simca Advertising. And the man of the match for making nine runs, taking a crucial wicket. And like we were saying throughout the match, that one over is going to be the difference between winning and losing. And it is none other than the blue cap holder, Wani. Man of the match. Wani, before you receive your award, you know, Whenever I see you bowl, I'm just glad I'm not playing UCB. And now for the exceptional performer with the maximum sixes. And the award goes to Parag. And he will receive a Sarfaraz hair and studio voucher from none other than Wahab Barudgar. So with that, we've come to the end of match one, ladies and gentlemen. Match two about.